This is how you can make an advanced badges command for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And on Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go and get into the video. All right, so we can start by going over to community and we can go ahead and create a badges.js. In here, we can do class and we're gonna go ahead and get our slash command builder and we can also get our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we're just gonna go ahead and get the discord.js package. Then we can do module.exports, we can do equals, we're gonna open this up, we're gonna get data, which is going to be new slash command builder. We can then go ahead and set a name, which is going to be badges and we can set a description, which is going to be get the badges of a user and then we can go ahead and add a user option we can do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be user we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the user you want to check the badges of and we do not actually have to set required for this so we can just go ahead and leave that blank and now we can add a comma we can do async execute so we can get our interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up and here we can do const and we're going to go ahead and get options and then we can just set that to our interaction then we can start off by doing await interaction dot defer reply and we can go ahead and leave that as is. Then we can come down here. We're going to go ahead and get our variables. So we can do let user equals options to get user. And that is going to be our user variable. And then we can go ahead and do let member equals await interaction dot guild dot members dot cash dot get. We can go ahead and get our user dot ID. Then we can do let flags equals user dot flags dot to array. So we're going to go ahead and set the badges to an array. Then we can go ahead and do let badges equals. And we're going to make an empty array. And we can also do let extra badges and we can do an empty array as well for that one then we can do a wait promise dot all and we can go ahead and get flags dot map and we can do async badge and open this up with an arrow function here so this is the part where we're actually going to go ahead and get all of the badge emojis so i've gone ahead and actually created a package similar to the slash command package here in resources i have not actually put it in this channel quite yet because as i'm recording this obviously the video isn't out but it will be in this resources channel eventually so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and join the server in the description below you can go over two resources this may look completely different by the time you get here but just go ahead and try to find the badges.zip right here and then you're just going to want to go ahead and download it it is completely safe to download all right so now that we actually have the badges file on our computer we can actually go ahead and minimize the code and whatever you have in here and we can just go ahead and create a badges folder so we can do badges and then we can go ahead and open this up so all we have to do is we're just going to go ahead and copy or drag all 16 badges into this this actual folder so it's no longer a zip all right so using any bot i'm going to use ascii uh, you can also use tutorial bot in your own server we can do add emoji and we can just go ahead and put in an emoji there and we can do that and then as you can see here it's going to go ahead and add it to the server so it's now on the server so now what you're going to want to be able to do is you can actually use this emoji within your code so what we can do is we can get that emoji that we inputted here and we can go ahead and do backslash and then we can go ahead and copy this in to what i'm about to show you now one other thing is this is an actual paint file um, but by the time I'm actually finished with this and you get this from the resources channel within my server, these will all be PNGs, so they will be easy upload emojis. All right, so now that we're back in the code, we can go into that promise all, and I'm actually going to go ahead and paste all of the stuff I already have in here um, because this is very specific to what I have um, because these emojis are from a different server. So for me to do this, I would have to input them all in. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and copy all of this down. So if badge equals staff, partner, all of this exactly the same name here because if you don't put the right name in here it's not going to register and then using the emojis you just added to your server you can go ahead and get the id like i showed you within this channel right here as you can see and then all you have to do is put that in to the corresponding uh batch just like that in the if statement so now that you've done that uh we can actually go ahead and move on so we can do const user data equals await fetch and then we can go ahead and get https we can do forward slash we can do j a p i dot rest and we do forward slash discord slash v1 slash user slash 
and we can go ahead and get our user ID. All right, so this is an API link, so we're gonna be using that later. And then we can also do const and we're gonna get our data. And then we can do equals and we can do await user data dot join, just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and join that with a string. Then we can do if and we're gonna do data dot public underscore flags underscore array. We can open this up. Then in here, we can go ahead and promise all again. So we can do await promise to all. And we can go ahead and get data dot public and we can do flags and then we can do array and then we can do dot map and we're gonna get async badge. We can open this up again here. And we can do if badge equals 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 and this is going to be nitro. And then we can go ahead and do badges dot push and we can go ahead and get the nitro badge that you uploaded to your server as an ID. So that was in the badges zip that you will get from the resources channel. So you can go ahead and put that nitro emoji in there as well. All right, so after doing that, we can come out of here and we're gonna say if user.bot, then we can open this up. We can do const bot fetch equals await fetch and we can go ahead and get our API link. So we can do HTTPS and we can go ahead and get forward slash discord.com slash API slash V10. And then we can do applications and then we can get our user.id and then we can do RPC just like that. You are actually gonna have to use backticks for that to work, so it should look like that. And then we can do let json await and we can do bot fetch .json again and just like that. And then we can do let flags bot equals json dot flags just like that. And then we can do const gateways equals and we can open this up. This is going to be application command badge and this is going to be one and then we can do shift over so shift and just like that and then we can do 23 just like that uh, and then we can also do const array flags equals an empty array so we're gonna input some stuff into that later and we can do four and we can do let i in gateways we can open this up we're gonna do const bits equals gateways and we can go ahead and get i and then we can say if and we're gonna go ahead and say flags bot and and we can say bits and then we can do equals 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 a bit and then we can go ahead and array flags dot push and we can go ahead and push in the i uh, and then outside of that for loop we can come under here and we can say if array flags and then we can do dot includes and we can go ahead and get our application command badge and then we can go ahead and open this up and we can do badges dot push and we can go ahead and get the slash commands bot so this is basically checking to see if your bot has slash commands enabled so then we can go ahead and input that slash commands badge from that badges folder and this is the slash command badge that I was talking about so we can go ahead and input that from the badges file that you downloaded um, and then we can actually come out of here then we can say if no user dot discriminator and we can do or user dot discriminator equals 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 zero and we can do or user dot tag equals 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 and we can go ahead and get our user dot username and then we can go ahead and do hashtag zero because that is a glitch and then we can go ahead and actually open this up so we can go ahead and do badges dot push and this is going to be our known as emoji that you downloaded from the package and inputted it into your server so we can go ahead and get that known as badge um, and that is the badge that I currently have on my profile right here. As you can see, it's actually going to blur that out. You can't see my current username, but I was originally known as this. So that's the badge we're talking about there. Then down here, we can do extra badges push, and we can go ahead and get this exact URL. So this is going to be an image. You can go ahead and input that in there and you can go ahead and pause the video and actually copy this down, but I'll open the image on my browser so you can see this. Uh, it is actually going to be that same emoji once it loads in, that same uh, badge or emoji that we had on my profile. So after doing that, we've done all the logic, so we can just make our embed now. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we can go ahead and set a color, and this is going to be blue for me. And then we can go ahead and set a title, and this is going to be our user.username, and then we can do s, and then we can say badges, and then we can go ahead and say dot set description, and we can say a badges dot join, and we can have an empty String, and then we can do or and we can go ahead and bold this we're gonna say no badges found and then we, all we have to do is actually send this so we can just do await interaction edit reply and we can say embeds and we can also get our embed all right so that's actually all we have to do for this entire command so one other thing here is we're gonna come up to the user variable and we can just go ahead and do interaction.user uh, for that as well we can do or interaction.user 
And now we can actually go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so after doing all that, we can go ahead and get our badges command. Now, I did have to switch the bot because tutorial bot was being super, super glitchy with this. So we can go ahead and send it. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and give me my badges. So Hype Squad, uh, Active Dev, Nitro, and Known As, which I do have. These are all the badges I have in my profile. Does not include boosting because Discord does not provide that data. So we can go ahead and test this out with a few other users. So this time we can go ahead and get Eski, for example. It's going to think and it's going to go ahead and give me the verified bot badge because the bot is verified and it's going to give me the slash command badge. It also does not provide the auto mod badge. The Discord API does not have that built in yet, so I cannot get that information. Uh, we can go ahead and try it for a couple more users. This time we can go ahead and get Franklin, I guess. And as you can see, it's going to give me active dev and brilliance. And that is exactly what we have. It did not include nitro, but I don't think it includes nitro classic. I think it only includes actual nitro if you have it. So if you have nitro classic or nitro basic, it's not going to put that on the list. And we can go ahead and try this one more time. So you can get badges and this time we'll get Jason because he provided the code. And as you can see, here is all of his badges, and yep, that is accurate. So that's so you can code a badges command for Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below. But you will already be here because you need the badges zip from the resources channel. So just go ahead and join anyways to get that. And if you do need any help, go ahead and make a post within the JS Coding Help channel. We'll be able to help you out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.